Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I wanna see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's the energy surrounding my Virgo spirit. Show me. So we have ancestral wisdom. Right now, present moment, you guys have ancestral wisdom that's surrounding you. That's what's encouraging you. Lay of the land. You already know, right? You... There's no, you've learned, you've learned and you've already, you already know. You know, there's wisdom here. You know, you've, you've learned from, I don't know why I'm getting like lessons that was learned from past mistakes or past ancestral mistakes, like, you know, generational um, mistakes that may have been made prior to you. But this is that you guys are breaking, you are chain, almost like chain breakers. There's something in this overall energy surrounding you guys right now, present moment. You are chain breakers. You're breaking a cycle. You are breaking chains here. You know, and I feel like it has to do with your family. Like there's something here about you being pinpointed or you actually being, I don't know why I just got celestial being. Like you guys have an overall energy of almost like a celestial being here. The wisdom that you have, it's, it's well beyond your years. The wisdom that you guys are composed with right now, present moment, it is well beyond your years. You know, this is this is things that I'm also getting like, I don't know why, I, it's like I see forming, like bringing back the old, bringing back the old. There, there's something about the foundation right now, present moment surrounding you guys, where some of you guys, you may be trying to bring back something from the olden days but the good things you know the positive things you know this is getting back to nature getting back to family to tradition i'm kind of getting that energy like you kind of getting back to that getting back to tradition getting back to your family your the values your values your family values um the number 34 could be very significant i feel like this has to do with your community your security and your stability this is ancestral wisdom lay of the land here showing someone the way i feel like there's this i feel like you guys are you're in this position right now present moment where either you can show someone the way or you're showing someone the way because you you've been there done that you know that type of energy is coming through like you've been there done that here beautiful energy beautiful energy let's see show me spirit show me what the hangman wanted to show his face Hmm. I feel like you guys are seeing things differently right now, present moment. You know how you just kind of throw your hands up in the air and just say, you know, what will be shall be. That's kind of that overall energy, like learning that you can't, some things are outside of your control. Some things cannot be controlled. What will be, will be what is meant for you. It will be for you. I feel like there's an overall energy of that. Show me more. What's going on with my Virgos? What's going on with my Virgos? Queen of Wands. Look at this beautiful energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could definitely have that strongly in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is a confident energy. This is a very confident energy. This is an energy of, I know what I want. And I'm going to do whatever I need to do to actually obtain what it is that I want for myself. What's most important, what's most relevant. But you're looking really good doing it. You are, you're taking care. You know, this is an outward appearance. But there is such a spontaneity here. There's such a vivacious energy coming through. Like, this is telling me that you guys look good on the outside. Because you feel good on the inside. Because there is some confidence with you on the inside. And you know, again, that ancestral wisdom is like... 
going back to the basics, going back to the beginning, like getting back to doing your hair, getting doing your makeup, getting back to ironing your clothes, you know, sending your clothes to the cleaners, getting back to exercising, eating healthier. I feel like there's something here about you guys getting back to the basics, getting back to tradition or getting back to the time when there's a time when but i feel like there's an overall energy of you guys getting back to that look at that bottom of the deck we have the magician here gemini virgo energy this talks about communicating but this also tells me that you know what you, you know your worth you know that you possess magic you possess power and this is telling me your willpower right now present moment is strong your intuitions right now present moment is strong your belief in yourself is strong beautiful energy absolutely beautiful energy this is telling me right now present moment it's strong let's see show me what's going on with my virgo spirit show me what's going on the tower scorpio energy coming through some type of surprise something here there's there's why is there why is this energy coming through four of cups huh you know this is this is an inevitable turning point right now present moment for you guys with that tower the tower talks about an upheaval it talks about a surprise an unwelcomed energy coming through something unwelcomed but it's something that has to happen you know because there's something here about the foundation being shaky you know building on a foundation that's that's unstable being a part of something four of cups talks about stagnation it talks about you thinking about okay something that was once good is starting to become something else it's starting to you start to feel some type of other way about this you know that's what i'm seeing here in this energy like you're starting to feel some type of way about this this could be a relationship or an environment where there's been some surprises there's been some surprises here that has come through um you're starting to question i feel like some of you guys you're starting to question the foundation the foundation of a relationship or the foundation within an environment you're starting to question this right now present moment i do see offers offers coming your way like this is like somebody offering up their friendship somebody offering up a relationship somebody offering you something but i see well right now present moment it's like you're weighing your options right now because you're not quite sure that it's good enough for you that it's up to par with you right now present moment some of you guys may feel like you deserve something better or some of you guys you may feel like you're being offered this but this is almost like a limiting factor this is almost like but i can do better i can get better there is more to be had and by me accepting this there's almost like an energy here of somewhat like by by you accepting this offer feeling like you're limiting yourself or you are settling settling somehow why is that tower here why is the tower here for my Virgo spirit? Yep, five of pentacles. I was seeing it. I was seeing it. Not wanting a shakeup. Three of wands. You want growth. You want growth. You, you're, you're patiently waiting for your ships to come in. This is passing up on an opportunity, passing up on a proposal, passing up on an offer because you know you deserve better. You know that there's better for you and you know that you deserve better yeah you're there's a gamble here I, I am seeing that with that five of pentacles the five of pentacles talks about being left out in the cold but it talks about a loss a loss of you've already experienced this loss some of you guys you may have experienced recently some health issues some of you guys you may have experienced a displacement like you've been displaced displaced within your work environment or just displ displaced within your residency there's been a displace already. So you've already experienced this displace. But still, you're not, this is going in faith. This is going, this is like believing that there's something better. There's something more. This is believing that you don't have to settle. This is believing that there is something more because you want growth. You want forward movement. I didn't put in all this time and this energy to settle. I do feel like that. I do feel like that. Everything is fine. Look, you see that's coming through. You may have experienced a hard time or you may be experiencing a hard time right now, present moment. 
you know even uh, this is on the this is in the the little nooks and cracks of your everyday life where you are beautiful handsome you are very confident you are very abundant there's an abundance here but there's some type of there's an element here in your life right now present moment where you may not feel like you may not feel like things are up to par or you may feel like things could get better ace of pentacles you do have a new opportunity coming in some of you guys there's some money coming your way you know some of you guys there's a new job offer coming your way or there's a new proposal that's coming your way so the thing about it is you're turning something down or you're not settling for something because you know and you truly believe that that whatever this is when you question I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure I want this. I'm not quite sure this is for me. When you're questioning that, this is you using your intuitions and knowing that because you're questioning this, this can't be your end all be all. This can't be the place in your life where you settle. This can't be something that you can say that's truly satisfying to you. I feel like some of you guys, you're really and truly still seeking what truly satisfies you. And that is coming in for you. There's something very stable coming in for you where you feel a lack of stability or where you feel a lack of security here. There's a change that's about to happen. There is. There is. I don't know why I'm getting that ancestral wisdom. It just keeps coming back to like someone that may have passed on or this is like an aunt or a grandmother or even a great grandmother. There's some ancestral wisdom here. Someone has told you something. And that you've kind of, you've ride it. It's like you've rode through life with that, that belief. Like believing in yourself. Someone has encouraged or someone has spoke this into your life. Like, in, like you truly believe that you can't settle for this type of behavior from someone. This is how it should be. You can't settle for subpar love or subpar relationship. Or you can't settle for what someone's just offering you or giving you when you know you truly deserve something more. You, This is about you wanting a freedom even within a relationship, even within an environment, even within. You want more than what you're getting. Even though this is not saying that you want to leave a relationship. This is not saying that you want to leave a work environment. This is just saying that you are not settling for what's being offered to you, given to you. Because even on the other side of this, they can give you more. You are worth more. This is like going to your boss and asking for a promotion or asking for a raise because you know you deserve it because your output, your output of your work, you truly believe in yourself and you're very confident right now, present moment. This is like being in a relationship or hooking up with somebody and they're only giving you a certain amount of time, but you know you deserve more time than what they're giving you because what you're giving in return to this person, you know your value. See, that's what the energy that's coming through here. And this is like some, like, there's wisdom in knowing your value. There's wisdom in knowing your worth. There's so much wisdom in knowing your value, so much wisdom in knowing your worth. So it doesn't matter if right now, present moment, you're experiencing some type of loss. Something has come in and it's kind of swoop you off your feet in some type of way, shape, or form. It's kind of distracted you in some type of way, shape, or form, but that doesn't matter because you still know your worth and you still know your value. You know, this is just a part of life. Something may have come in and it may have steered you off your the beaded path, but you know how to get back on that beaded path. You do. You know exactly how to get back on that beaded path. Show me more. What was that? Two of Cups. Hmm. Some of you guys, there's a friendship here. There's a relationship here. There's a bond that you have here with someone. Tell me more, spirit, to my Virgos. That wanted to show its face, but it actually didn't all the way. Ten of Pentacles. This talks about your family. talks about your, you're winning. See that? You guys are winning. You see that? You're winning. Ten of Pentacles. This talks about generational wealth. It talks about an inheritance. This is telling me you guys are purchasing assets. You're getting assets. You're being gifted with assets. This talks about your assets. This also talks about being publicly seen, publicly recognized. You know, this is telling me you guys are winning and you guys are going to be very, very successful. This is telling me you guys are winning and you're going to be very successful. But this is also telling me that what you believe for yourself is true. You know, this is telling me that the energy that you're embodying right now, present moment, that vivacious and that it's I'm almost getting like a volatile energy. Like this is like not backing down. I feel like you guys are at this position right now, present moment, where it's like you're not backing down. You want to build something. You know, you want this relationship. You want this healthy family dynamic. 
You know, you want to build generational wealth here. You want to be publicly, rec publicly recognized. This is telling me, you guys, you want to win. And this is also telling me that you guys are winning. This is telling me you are winning. Look at that, the higher fit. Some of you guys are furthering your education. Some of you guys, there's something here about you being looked upon for guidance, you know, for clarity. You're being looked upon for your wisdom as well. You guys are being looked upon strong Taurus energy. You could definitely have that strongly in your chart. But you're being looked upon for your wisdom as well. Starting to get hot in here. <laughs> it's because my candles, my candles start to make it hot. Ace of Wands, see that? This talks about new, new, and look, the fool, Aries energy. You guys have, you have something beautiful moving forward. And I know that you truly believe this. I know that you truly feel this. If you believe this, put in your, put in the comments, I believe. If you truly believe this, if you truly see that you're going to be successful or that you are successful or that you're more successful than where you were to where you are now, I want you guys to put that in the comments. I believe. And it's like a believing in the, the knowledge that you have, believing in your own wisdom, believing in yourself, the magic that's within you. I want you guys to put in the comments, I believe, because there you have new opportunities coming in. We've had the Ace of Pentacles and now we have the Ace of Wands. This is the opportunity to create something new, the opportunity to go towards something that you're so passionate about, you know, bringing your ideas to life. I feel like there's something here about you guys bringing your ideas to life, but you have to continue to believe. You have to continue to believe in yourself, continue educating yourself, continue using your voice because there's something here about you guys becoming public speakers or speaking out. This is almost like a protest is what I'm kind of getting that energy, like protesting for yourself, speaking for yourself. Absolutely beautiful energy. Absolutely beautiful energy. I see a new beginning coming in for you guys. You have the, the new beginning right now, present moment. Show me more. What's your advice? Pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care self -care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your in your present and your future. And even with this pay yourself, I feel like it's paying yourself homage, paying yourself respect, paying yourself. It's not just about your money. It's just not, it's not just about the income that you that you have coming in. It's paying yourself first. The energy that you give to someone else, give it to yourself. The respect that you give to someone else, give it to yourself. The love that you give to someone else, give it to yourself. You have to give that to yourself before you can give it to someone else. Because how are you to, you can't take care of somebody else if you're not truly taking care of yourself. You can't tell somebody, oh, you need to go see a doctor when you're not going to see a doctor. You can't tell somebody, oh, you need to get healthy. You need to exercise when you're not even doing the same thing. And I feel like that's what this energy is. Your spirit guides are wanting you guys to pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Guys, know that I do. I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. And I want you guys to have such a wonderful day. I literally, I left. I didn't get to do a reading this morning. So I went to my office. I left my office, came home to my home office to do this video for you guys. And now I'm going back to my office. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.